Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, heal the hearts of your children, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. And I see water flowing from the right side of the sanctuary. Wherever it flowed, dead things living. Whatever it touched, jumped off from mortuary. Jesus, wake me from mortuary. Dear Lord, make me your sanctuary. Oh Lord, make saints of us. The defects of the senses. Sensum defectui in Latin. That is the topic of this short reflection, beloved brothers and sisters, the defects of the senses, the sense of the eye, the touch, the hearing, the smell et al. They are defects. Come to think about this, this day we are celebrating the divine mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, the divine mercy of the Father, made manifest in our Lord Jesus Christ. Come to think about this. The first time one of the disciples saw Jesus risen from the dead, precisely Mary the Magdalene, the word said she didn't recognize him until Jesus called her name and so on. So first, she saw him and didn't recognize him. Then she went and told the others that she had seen the Lord. The word of God said they didn't believe. And then, number two. Some two were on their way to their mouths. That same day, Jesus appeared to them. The word of God said also they didn't recognize him until breaking of the bread when he broke the bread that is breaking of the bread simply signifies the brokenness of jesus the wounds of jesus the sacrifice of the mass then they recognized him then these two went and told the other disciples they didn't believe and then the word of god said why they were telling the other disciples then jesus came that was the evening. Jesus came and stayed with them and said, Peace be with you. That's the third time, the third, apparat, the third appearance. And then, when Jesus said, Peace be with you, they were looking at him. They didn't recognize him. They didn't, they didn't rejoice yet. The word, the word we read today, John chapter 20, verse 19 to 31. It said, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. But they were looking. Not yet recognized him. Until Jesus, the, the next thing Jesus did was, he showed them the wounds of his hands and the secret side that was pierced. It was that time then that the word of God said, Jesus told them again, Peace be with you. And then they rejoiced. The disciples rejoiced. 
they knew that it was Jesus. So the first appearance, they didn't recognize him. The second one, they didn't recognize him until, of course, the brokenness of Jesus. They thought they didn't recognize him until Jesus showed them the wounds of his sacred side. And then again, the fourth appearance, the one of today, all the first three happened last Sunday. So Thomas wasn't around. And then this Sunday, after eight days, when they gathered, they gathered again to pray, as we are wont to gather in on Sundays, then he appeared again in their midst. Now Thomas was there. Do you know that Thomas didn't recognize still and had not believed until Jesus told him, Come, bring your hand. Put your finger inside the hollow in my hands and dip your finger inside the hollow of my sacred side. Thomas did those. And then after doing those, then he believed and shouted, My Lord and my God. Beloved brothers and sisters, do you see a connection? Jesus resurrected from the dead comes with a glorious body, a body that is glorified. And we, the, all the disciples, we are unable to recognize him until they set their eyes or had an experience of the sacred wounds. The sacred wounds. The sacred wounds that remained as an indelible marks of his suffering and death and resurrection and everything. What does it tell you? Now, that was about the disciples, about me, and about you. That thing about them is called the, the defects of the senses. Now, let's come to yourself and to myself. We still have these defects of the senses, especially with our Lord Jesus Christ now present in the Eucharist. Because the Holy Church has taught me and taught you that that Eucharist you see is not just bread. That that Eucharist is not a holy bread, not a holy meal, but the body and blood of Jesus Christ himself. The Bible said so. If I don't even believe it because the church said so, I have to believe because the word of God said so. Jesus himself said it. It's my body. Paul confirmed it in 1 Corinthians 11. It's the body and blood of Jesus. But with the defects of the senses still, when I raise that bread after consecration, turn body and blood, what I still see with my eyes is bread. What I still sense with my tongue when I drink of the blood what I still sense is wine, alcoholic wine. And this is where the defects of the senses come. So what do I have to do in order to pass over or supersede these defects of the senses to come to believe or to come to feel and see Jesus as he really is? What do I have to do? What I have to do is this same thing done by Jesus and the apostles when he resurrected and they didn't recognize him. Setting my eyes and my heart on those indelible wounds. Remember that first time we said it was during the breaking of the bread, brokenness of Jesus, that they recognized him. Then the second time, it was when they saw the wounds that they recognized him. Then the third time, when Thomas put his fingers inside that he recognized and believed. So, likewise now, all I have to do is, and I'm telling you my life experience as a priest, when I do the holy sacrifice of the Mass, when the defects of my senses play so high on me, all I do is I go into my mind. Think of the mystery I'm doing of the wounds and the passion of Jesus. 
that I am rec I'm calling to memory. Once I do it, everything changes. I no longer feel bread in front of me. I feel Jesus as he really is. I no longer feel wine. I feel blood of Jesus. I feel the mystery that St. Thomas Aquinas had to tell us about in that famous song called Tantum Ergo, where I got the defects of the senses. Now, in that famous song called Tantum Ergo that we usually sing, during benediction or on Holy Thursdays. It was written in Latin, but I'll, I'll sing it in Latin and then tell you the, meaning, the part of the meaning in English. Is it? Tantum ergo sacramentum venere murternui et antiquum documentum now pay attention. Prestet fides supplementum sensum defectui. Prestet fides simply means faith excels the excellence of faith. Then sensum defectui. Sensum defectui means the defects of the senses. St. Thomas Aquinas was in front of the Blessed Sacrament, a priest, when he wrote this song. He was meditating on the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. He wasn't feeling anything. And then, when he used his faith and put his faith on the mystery of the passion and death and the wounds of Jesus, he started feeling the mystery before him. That was why he wrote, Prested fides, faith excels, sensum defectui, the defects of the senses, supplying the defects of the senses, supplementum, def sensum defect, supplying the. So it is faith that we hinge on the wings of Jesus that will supply the defects of the sense of sight, the sense of taste, the sense of. And, Thirst, taste, and so on. Beloved brothers and sisters, this beautiful day that we celebrate the divine mercy of Jesus, the divine mercy of the Father made known and visible in, the, in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit invites us to put our mind into the wounds that remained indelible in our Lord Jesus Christ, the wounds by which we were healed. The word of God said in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 25 et al. Now it's by these wounds that we are healed. Also in Isaiah chapter 53 et al. Now it's by these wounds that we are healed. Anytime you do not understand the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist, fix your mind and eyes and heart on these wounds. The defects of the senses will go away. May the divine mercy of Jesus flow into our homes. May the blood and water from his sacred side flow into our homes and heal us, increase our faith in him, and abolish the defects of our senses.